Good morning, Andre here. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and hit that like button at the bottom. Some really cool Viking merchandise, um, t-shirts, art prints, uh, my society 6 link is also in the description below. Thor's hammer, Molnir, the mightiest weapon, protector of the Aesir. Um, yeah, I'm not really going into that today. I've got a small commission piece uh, that I want to share with you guys. I'm still planning on doing a decent video on Molnir later on, really delving into the sagas and analyzing everything. But today we've got a little cover up tattoo. It's um, six centimeter wide, it's just text. And I'm going to cover it with a seven by six centimeter Molnir. Um, can't really go a lot. Bigger than that, so the detail is going to be limited. I'm going to try and put as much kind of esoteric detail and meaning into it that I can, but yeah, like I just mentioned, it's very, very small. Okay, so that's it. That's it that we've got that we've got to cover up. It's six by almost two centimeters high, and he sent me this reference here. Just you zoom in a little bit so you can see. Okay, only problem is um, all that negative space in between the knot work. Obviously, the old tattoo is going to shine through that. So we're going to put some color into that. Um, probably white. White is your, is your weakest ink. I mean, the pigment of the ink goes underneath your natural pigment. So... It might shine through a little bit, but what we're hoping for is just so it gets like two or three shades lighter. Um, that'll that'll be sufficient enough. I mean, it's so small, you're not really going to see it. Um, maybe I can talk him into doing another color. Anything darker than white would obviously be a bonus. So, because it's so small, we can't do that exact amount of detail. Because that one is about, say, 12 centimeters in length. So that's about double the size that we are going. So what I did is I basically covered that area with a pencil drawing. A little bit less detail than the reference, but still keeping almost the same idea at least. So my pencil lines I just did over in pen. Neaten it up a little bit. You can still see there's some discrepancies there, but I'll, I'll fix that later on. Then redid the half in dot work. Um, mostly when it's a totally symmetrical design, I did just the half of it. Not really because I'm lazy, it's just then you know it's totally perfect. And I just mirrored it. And yeah, that's our design. I'll just zoom out a little bit for you so you can see exactly the design. There we go. So what I did is kind of like incorporated a face there, a little bit of a mustache and a beard, um, just um, like a mini version of a goth mask in between. Then if you really use your imagination, <laughs> you can imagine that kind of like a double curl being a goat's head like the bottom of the head and that one being the horn two, ho two goats kind of like bashing their heads against each other just to bring in four goats a little bit as well um, because it's so small I can't really bring in much of a story or a saga or anything like that but at least you've, you've got the god mask of four you've got his goats um, would be cool to bring in a serpent or two, but it was just so small that I couldn't change any of these points or whatever into a serpent's head. And yeah, there you have it. And the final version of his tattoo, all tattooed and finished. Um, luckily, he wanted a darker color, while well, a light green. It has to do with his magical workings and everything. Um, like I said, any color darker than white would be a bonus. I think it covers it quite well. 
and yeah you've got the elements there you can actually see Thor's face very very well in it um, for something that small I'm quite happy okay now for an even smaller hammer um, this will be more like a petroglyph more like a, a bronze age maybe even early Viking age symbol <laughs> yeah like halfway through that design I decided now nah, fuck this man this could be even smaller um, end result was about two by two centimeters um, it could probably have gone a little bit smaller and there we go little petroglyph um, not perfect but then again it's meant to be carved into stone you don't really want too much detail when you're doing hard labor like that that's probably one of the simplest and earliest forms of Molnir that you could find, at least in hammer form. We've got to remember that Bronze Age people, and even early Vikings, used to depict it as a meteorite, and drawing a falfot or a swastika, um, which for obvious reasons I can't show on YouTube. Um, it was always associated with a weapon from the gods, something falling from above, like a meteorite, fire, lightning, and it was depicted on cave paintings as such. It's only later that it took on hammer form 